All right, so make sure you have your word study test in front of you and you have your office up from the supply closet. Uh, you can pause and rewind at any time. I'm going to go ahead and give you your word study test. When you are done, uh, please turn this paper into the three desks over by my desk. I really need a name for those things. The tri desks, the, the triple desks, the trip esks. I don't know. We got to work on that. Anyway, all right. So start off, please. Make sure you put your first and last name up at the top. Uh, the date today is 10 5 18. Um, if you could put what block you're in, B1 or B2. And then we're going to go ahead and take your test. Now, I do want you to be aware that. Um, you don't get an actual grade uh, on this test. The results from this test um, will help determine whether you should keep your E for being in my word study or if you need to go below an E down to an S plus or something like that. So you really want to do well with this. Your proof of this test um, is proving that you deserve an E uh, for working above level. All right, so we're going to start with the word wall words over here. So your first word wall word, go ahead and write, is the word people. There were so many people. People. Number two for word wall is said. He said I could go, said. Your third word wall word is until. Until we got there, I was very tired. Until. Your fourth word wall word is again. I want to go again. Again. And your fifth word wall word is could. Could I go with you? Could. On to your sort words, your sort word for the pattern. Now, please be aware, you need to be thinking when you do your sort words and sort transfer words, you need to be thinking, okay, what are my pattern choices? So we're dealing with the short O sound, and we know that it could be spelled A-U, A-W. We have words that are A-L, and then oddballs. So when you go to take a test, you really should be writing these options up at the top so that your brain is thinking, okay, every time I hear the short O sound, it has to be one of those two, unless it's an audible. All right, number one for your sort word is author. The author of the book was Margaret Peterson Haddix, author. Number two is awkward. Oh, I felt so awkward when I tooted awkward. Number three is already. I already ate, but I could eat some more. Already. Number four is awesome. Awesome. You are so awesome. Number five is August. And yes, it's a proper noun, August. Number six is although. Although we ate already, I still had another meatball. Although. Number seven is auction. At the end of every month, we have an auction. Number eight is haunted. I got scared in the haunted house. One time I actually went to a haunted house up in New York and it actually was the scariest thing I've ever been to. They made it seem like a real house with scary things in it, like walking down basement stairs and having something grab at your legs. It was very creepy. All right, number nine is caution. Please... Exhibit caution as you enter the work zone. Caution. 
And number 10 is nod. The rat nod at the rope. And no, he didn't shake his head. He was chewing in a chewish type of way. All right. This last section is called the dictated sentence. Um, this means that I will speak a sentence and you will write it. So the sentence you need to write is this. The, make sure you start with a capital, the snow got close to the globe. Like a world, the globe. The snow got close to the globe. Feel free to pause or rewind if you need. Okay, now really check, make sure you have every word. If you're missing a word, you lose a point. The snow got close to the globe. End of sentence. All right, that's it. Go ahead and make sure you have everything you need and take this paper over to the three tables. You can now do free choice time uh, for the remainder of class.